I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not quite sure what it is. So if something's off, and hopefully it's not like the memory card or anything like that, but uh, I'm sorry. What's up guys, welcome back to Just JP. My name is Justin, and today we are listening to Jean-Luc Ponty with the song Mirage. This song was on the sidebar of one of my YouTube recommendations. Like, I was just listening to music and I saw his name pop up. And I have no idea who he is or any of his music, so I just figured, why not uh, listen to it here? Jean-Luc Ponty uh, is a French jazz violinist and composer. His genres are jazz and jazz fusion. And this track, Mirage, is from his album Enigmatic Ocean, uh, released in 1977, which actually reached number one on the Billboard Jazz Charts in the same year. He was also involved in the Mahavishnu Orchestra, which is a band that a lot of you guys have been recommending to me. So I'll get to them, but I guess you can kind of say this is like a gateway uh, to them. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day, but let's get into it. You can join me on Twitter, you can join me in the comments down below, and this is Jean-Luc Ponty with Mirage.
interesting for me is that when I look at a violin, because he's the violinist in this, when I look at a violin, I've never really personally imagined it, nor do I think I've ever heard it in a jazz uh, slash jazz fusion band and taking a lead like a solo. You obviously have it in classical music, you have it in uh, rock and metal music where it takes a lead, sure, when symphonic elements are incorporated. But I, I can't say that I've ever heard the violin used in a jazz setting, um, besides just as a background and a texture, but as a lead and a solo. Jean-Luc really shows that it can lead. And I guess that seems kind of obvious. Like, I don't want to seem completely ignorant, I just never thought of it. But the way that he plays it, 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 it's, it works so well, it fits perfectly within the setting. And I think that part of that is accentuated because it's a, it's a jazz fusion. Like, there's a little more, uh, there's a few more elements into this song than just like strict like jazz. You know, there's a lot of rock um, elements in there, especially when it gets into like the, the guitar riff and when the drums are picking up a little bit. I really like the way that it opens up because it gives you a nice atmosphere and then it slowly uh, builds into it. See, I really like this right here, but it's when that bass comes in that like the song really kicks off. I like that, yeah. That's just, it starts off nice and atmospheric, and then when the drums and the bass come in, they just set a perfect groove, and I love the way that they come in, and the atmosphere is still maintained from the beginning. Before we get into the solo of anything, before that even happens, you have to have a nice foundation. With jazz like this, with music like this, where there's going to be leads and solos that are going back and forth, you need to have a nice foundation. Here, it's set by the drummer, the bass, uh, the, the keyboards, the guitarist. They all lay a nice foundation. When it comes to songs like this where big sections of it are, uh, are solos, sometimes the other musicians can be left behind or feel left behind in just setting pace, in just setting the groove, and just maintaining rhythm for everyone else to, uh, to be catapulted into the front of the song. But here we see that's not the case. At first, yeah, they set that foundation, but then as the song goes on, they each get a little bit more uh, momentum, a little bit more time in the starlight, so to speak. The distortion on the guitar sounds really good. It adds that perfect texture that I think the song needed just to make it a little more uh, full. See what I mean? Like just little moments where like the drums shine through. That's awesome. That's so cool. The second solo is performed by the, on the keyboards. Uh, this is by Alan Zavad. And what I like about his solo is that oftentimes when it comes to synthesizers, I know I've mentioned this before, and if you've watched the video so many times, I'm sorry if I repeat this a lot, but synthesizers, the sounds can be either be very hit or very missed for me. It's just the way that I am with that particular sound. Here, I think they're very, very hit on. They're, they're, they're perfect. And it's, I really like the weird sounds that are brought in. The weird sounds that come in and just make this sound a little more like alien. I love that. It sounds perfect in here. Because initially it starts off smooth. This is the echo in the back of the reverb. Like, little things like that with the pitch. It starts off very smooth, and then it starts just going into the But it sounds good. Like, to me it sounds pleasing. It sounds just as smooth as the rest of the song. And I like how the guitar is used to break up that smoothness uh, when it gets into bow, 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 like that. <laughs> I think that's an awesome riff. Now, interesting, I just pulled up some information about Alan Zavad. Um, like I said, he's a pianist, an electro pianist. His talent as a pianist was recognized by Duke Ellington, who arranged for him to study at the Berklee College of Music in Boston. Now, if that's not recognition, I don't know what is, because that's, that's top honors to be recognized by uh, Duke Ellington. That's really cool. And he's a very accomplished musician. I mean, he's played with a lot of different orchestras, a lot of different people, uh, including Frank Zappa. I really like uh, Jean-Luc's violin playing. It's really interesting. One of the instruments that it says that he plays was the, uh, I believe it was called the Violectra, which I guess is just a variation of the electric violin, but obviously it's a violin, it's an electric violin, but this it's the sound of it. 
I guess it's like a little synth padding on it. It makes for a very interesting sound, and between that and the synthesizer lead uh, solos in this song, they both bring that smooth, yet still distinguishable and, and foreign, alien, interesting and distinctive sound. Did I just use a lot of words that mean the same thing? Anyways, I would definitely listen to this song. I did like it a lot. This really gets me interested to hear the rest of the album because I like music like this, like jazz, but like fused with other things, you know, something a little more different. And I will work towards Mahavishnu Orchestra. I will work towards um, uh, Pat Metheny Group. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm, I promise. I promise. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of the song. You can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. I hope that you're having an awesome day, and I will see you later.